Get your shit together, big home. This is what it is. When we start, welcome back to the Patreon. When we when we talk about um, when I talk about Meg the Stallion, Suki Hana, Cardi B, the City Girls, Big Birkin Bag, Bitch, Five Six Figures. Everybody's talking about breaking a trick. And my whole issue with this, what I will say about um, the male rappers is that for the most part, that's good, for the most part, they at least will give you the other side of their criminal activity. Not really. But at least you can point out some of them that will give you the other side of it. When you talk about these motherfuckers, they give you no downside to breaking tricks. That's that means either one or two things, uh, or nah, one or two things are going on. Either they don't live that life and don't know the downside to it, which is fucking horrible because you're leading young girls down a path that you yourself wouldn't go down or two you're a nothing ass bitch who the definition holds true with where you're so fucking miserable that you want to have company in that or let's three you're working for the fucking government which would be your uh, um, label owners and they're telling you to purposely not give the other side of breaking tricks, being a fucking prostitute. We're not, do we have to sit here? Are we, I, so are we going to sit here and act as if Suki Hana, Cardi B, and all the rest of the stripper rappers are not talking about prostitution? If 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 you're gonna say that to me, you, you all let this, uh, the argument be they they just talking about having fun. Okay, let's break down the lyrics in their lyrics that don't fuck with a broke nigga. They didn't say don't fuck with an ugly nigga, don't fuck with a fat nigga, don't fuck with a nigga with STDs, don't fuck with a nigga who don't have no money. Meaning, Like, Suki Hana will say it outright. Like, we can... I, I'm, I, I'll get the intern to fucking find clips and clips of each one of them telling you how much the pussy costs. How much the head costs. Suki Hana, I'm not going into what the fuck these hoes saying about... We know the fuck they to my prostitution. But the thing is, I, I guess... That's the issue here, is that we continue to skip over it, and it's not being highlighted. That That's how we're able to, ah, uh, nah, they just talking about having fun. They just saying, don't fuck with a broke nigga, because you're going to have to, no, 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 no. They're talking about prostitution. They're not talking about being faithful. I don't give a fuck by the nigga, like, they're not talking about being faithful to a, 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 their mate. They're talking about, if he got money, I'll fuck him. If he got the right amount, I uh, uh, put his ass on him. All that, all that, you know. And you know what, dog? When I did that XXX Temptation on video, when that happened, people were looking. Like, why in the fuck would you, you know, use this? Why in the fuck would you put this out here like this? And the reason was because when we're listening to this music and we are definitely allowing death of black men, not, not any other race, death of not Chinese people, not Indians, not Arabs. When... This music, this is Klan music. This is Ku Klux Klan music. 
this is music that they would be riding out to. They would ride out to NBA Youngboy, Kodak Black, so on and so forth. Quando Rondo, this would be their fucking theme music. They would suit up to this music because it would fit totally with what the fuck they live and die by. So I put it in front of the people like this is what it looks like. You're not because you're not connecting the dots of the music that you love and the reason why you're hurting the death of your loved one. You're not connecting the two. I'll do it for you. I'll put the music over the images of these uh, little liney and the countless others that have died, been killed, young and ace. Um, all three of his closest people were killed while he was in the car. He tried to kill him too. And he's up here doing this fucking interview sounding fucking retarded. Let me put it in front of you. It comes a time, you know, where, where it was fun to listen to this shit, dog. Where it was. But then when you get older and you have children. And you see the way they're reacting to this music. And you also understand the power of subliminal messaging. And you have all of this fucking hope and everything you're made up of is riding on the success and the happiness of your child and you hear and see what's going on and you can I mean you can no longer even you can't listen to it but it gets to a point where you have to fucking Dare I say boycott it? But that, 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 that's really another conversation. Is this conversation, but it's another conversation. Because when you talk like that, you sound like fucking whoever the, the fucking uh, president or mayor was when he was talking about the war on rap music and shit like that. You start sounding like them. And that's the, the last thing you want to do is sound like somebody. Even if your core values kind of for that one second align with theirs. Maybe for different reasons. Maybe they don't want black people getting money and shit like that. Um, but our music is so fucking powerful to our, powerful to our children. To these impressionable children. Like I said, I mean, this is this is grown up talk we have right now. This is grown up talk. This ain't for for the children. This this is for the people who have somebody else's future in their hands. And they're being fucking sabotaged at every fucking step. Every everything that you're trying to build, it seems as if the world is trying to destroy. I'm trying to keep you away from the world whilst simultaneously point out the people to avoid and point out the people who mean you no good and then you have the one thing that you find solace in which is your music and you have these people the world they've infiltrated that world also to where they, they know the, the, the frequency and the hurts a, a, a beat needs to be at to be the most 
hypnotizing. What was it? Uh, 432 hertz, something like that. They couldn't do it with people who look like them, so they did it with people who look exactly like her, exactly like him. People who had actually been through what they're going through, and the deal that they made was, hey Kodak, hey NBA Youngboy, hey Meg Thee Stallion, hey Young Miami, if you want to live the life that you've always dreamed of when you were those kids' age, I need for you to make sure that those kids never get to the pinnacles that you will. It's no different than being in a county jail. Any county jail around the country, the conditions are so fucking vile. And they're like that on purpose. They're, they're, the, 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 the conditions are so horrendous that... As soon as you're given any kind of deal, you will take it just to get the fuck out of that county jail. So they'll hold you in there for as long as they can, whether it be three years or fucking five years. They'll hold you there until you fucking plead out. But they're going to get a fucking guilty plea out of you. It's kind of like that how we're living. They make poverty seem even worse by letting us see how good it is to live when you're rich. You know, another another analogy would be um, they show the big girl, the Scarlett Johansson picture all the time. They give you this unrealistic standard of beauty. So that you'll buy into the fucking beauty um, industry, cosmetic industry. Fucking um, Kylie Jenner made a billion dollars, didn't it? Uh, uh, some, a uh, uh, multiple billion dollars off of her fucking makeup line. Why can't they have, um, why can't Whoopi Goldberg do a makeup line? So that's what that is. So it's not hard. So that's that's the that's the that's what's going on behind the scenes. This is why you're getting paid like this. Um I hope that I remember, maybe I can write it down. Put cupcake. Video in DJ Kid video where she actually fucking, you know, she admitted it that this is what the fuck it is. This is what it is. I am watching these young girls say these words, chant these words. This is some fucking militia. Shit, where they on on beast of no nation, they took they abducted these children from their parents at a young age. Listen to me here, because I like I said, none of this is scripted. I got a bad headache, and I'm just speaking to you right now. They abducted these children from their parents at a very young age, and one of the tactics that they used to brainwash them was chanting something over and over and over and over and over and over again over and over and over and over again mixed with a little bit of drug use along with the you know the already confusing fucking conditions of being a child you know what I mean um, but them chanting all you have all you have um, uh, I have no family I have no family you know what I'm saying making them mad at their parents 
you know, imagine our nine-year-olds, our six-year-olds, when they, you know, hopefully you don't have little girls. Imagine that six-year-old when she turns 13. And every girl around her is an evolved version of Cardi B. Are we going to act as if peer pressure isn't real? Who are the cool people? The musicians. Why are they cool? All the guys, they have everything that you want. Whether it be the male or the female. The musicians. Do you relate more with um, the Disney musicians or the Cardi B, Meg Thee Stallion, so on and so forth? Who has more? Who's has more? Um, I know y'all are saying a word right now, so we'll just skip past it. Who has more of that on you? Do they have more of that on you than your parents? Of course they do. Your parents go to work. Come home. Don't you do nothing bad. They, your parents still trying to figure out their problems. These musicians don't have any problems. Obviously they're smarter than your parents. Obviously, they're smarter than your parents. Huh. How confused and, and how many of, of these children are actually going to get the chance to meet Meg the Stallion to find out that she really wants all girls to go to college and and uh, I want you to, no, 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 no. She gonna get to tell the overweight, uh, prepubescent girl, hey, you're, you're beautiful in your own way. No, 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 no. Because if that was the case, then you would have overweight dancers on stage with you. You're with baddies. You're with the baddies. Actions speak louder than words at all times. And your actions. The actions of Cardi B and the rest of these stripper rappers, prostitute rappers. Are. Get money out a nigga. And as long as you're doing that. You good. You good. You winning. If a nigga only give you twenty dollars, you a broke bitch. You must not be fine enough. Your pussy must not be good enough. If a gr 